Well, today is tax day, the day in which you and more than 100 million other Americans ritually provide the federal government with 10, 20, or even 30 percent of your income, maybe 40 or higher, to finance our vast federal bureaucracy and various bombing campaigns around the world. Most people hate tax day, but Caroline Heldman is a big fan. She's hard to find her, but we did. She's a political science professor at Occidental College out in California, and she loves tax day so much, she wants to expand it bigly. She's called for upping the top tax brackets in America to 80% or more. Professor Heldman joins us tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. So I just want to get to motive here for a second. Do you want the tax rate to go up to pay for more stuff or as a way to punish rich people? Well, neither of those things. And let's be clear, I'm not talking about taxes for your viewers. I'm talking about taxes for the top 1%, and I'm not okay. even talking about all of their income. I'm talking about the marginal tax rate, the highest rate, which right now is set at $470,000. So I'm talking about wealthy individuals who on $470,000 plus would be taxed at a much higher rate than they are now. And in fact, historically, um, for example, under Eisenhower and JFK, they were taxed at 91%. Now they're taxed at less than 40%. And this okay. has meant that we've scrimped on the, the social safety net. We've scrimped on education. There are lots of things that this money could go for. Well, we spend more on those than almost anyone else in the world. But, so, but, it's a, but to answer my question, I mean, it's a, it, you want to buy more stuff. It's not just because you object to the existence of rich people. You're not trying to hurt them. You just want to pay for more stuff. Well, I, I don't think rich people are held to the same standards as other taxpayers. So I think that there are loopholes in their armies of lawyers and estate planners that allow them to hide their wealth. Um, I would like to see that money go into the economy. I mean, taxes are the price we pay for civilization. I would love to see, you know, free higher education. I would love to see our infrastructure, our crumbling infrastructure system uh, funded in the United States. There are a lot of things that this money could go for right. if, you know, wealthy people were fairly taxed, and they just aren't. So you're from a, an affluent family. What does your mom think of this? Uh, my parents, uh, my family gives a lot in philanthropy, just as I do. I'm not on the top 1%, um, but... You know, we are people who practice what we preach, and that means that you give a lot of money away in terms of nonprofits. Um, I also use tipping of servers as a mechanism for redistributing wealth. Wait, wait, I'm, wealth. I'm confused. Okay, no, but I'm for all those things. I'm for philanthropy, and I'm especially for tipping waiters. I agree with you 100% on that, and so God bless you. But Glad to why, hear it, but, but you're asking other people to give their money to the government. Why aren't you giving 70% of your income to the government? You could. Well, I'm not on the top 1%, but I have no, no issue. No, you don't need to be. Um, well, that's the argument I'm making, right, that it's not about working class Americans or people like me who are upper income Americans. Um, it's about really the wealthiest top 1%. Now, but sure, I have but no hold issue on. Wait, you're a college professor. Taxes. I'm not, I'm not attacking you, by the way, at all. I pay, you, I pay about 30%. Well, oh, I know you're not. Why not, pay um, seven, why not pay 70%? I don't understand. Like, what's holding you back? Why not well, lead by example? Tucker, you know... You know what's holding me back? If, you, if, if I knew how to do that, um, I would have no issue doing that. But the tax but just code send, is just incredibly send convoluted. No, it's totally... No, no, trust me. Let me simplify it for you. Just write a check, pay your taxes, then figure out what you pay 30%, you said. Just figure out what another 40% of your income would be and just send it to the U.S. Treasury. Washington, D.C., well, no zip code you know, required. You know Go what ahead. I do, Tucker? You know what I do instead of that? Because we don't, don't have know. a fair system of taxation, okay. I write checks to nonprofits that are, are providing services that the then, government should be providing. Okay, but so then, I write checks to Planned Parenthood. I write oh. checks to nonprofits that serve, that provide a safety well, net. You may be for making Americans, an argument so it has me, the right, same effect. I think you may be, no, but it doesn't actually. So why not pass a law requiring people to send money to charities that to. are more effective for the, than the government well, is? I mean, so you're basically that would conceding. Be, oh, that you're would be great too. As long the as the one percent is not the most actually, efficient way. To, no. to lift up the poor, then why won't you send it well, to the government you know, then? Tucker, I would say this train wreck of a Trump government is certainly not the best way to serve the poor <laughs> since they have no interest in serving the poor. But okay. in general, I think government does a fine job providing the services okay, well, that I'm it, just, I'm, that look, the I'm just asking you to, to, to practice what you preach. Let me just ask you one other question here. As, I do practice what I little, preach. Well, you don't. I, you're more, telling other more, people to send their money I, to the government, and you're not. So, like, I, I'm I get telling the top 1%. The no, 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 Tucker. Don't, sh don't put words in my mouth. I am telling the top 1%. I am saying the government needs to tax them fairly. If we're going to talk about taxation, I actually think I'm taxed pretty fairly. I choose to spend way more than the majority of my income on other people. I choose oh, but, to but do that, to, but we're not, not talking about me. We're talking people. about... Of course we're not talking about you. You don't want to we're do it. We're talking about the top It sounds awful. Tucker, no, you don't get to do this. You, you don't, you don't do get it. to lie. You? you don't get... No, Tucker, you don't get to put words in my mouth. We're talking about the top 1%. I'm just noting the obvious, percent. Professor. You're noting, you're noting the obvious. I'm not on the top 1%. It's oh, not so about me. This is not an argument about 
about but me. But not you. Oh, it's not yes. about you. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's not yes. about That's the not argument. About the people proposing it. Let me ask you one quick question, though. I, I understand. It's Look, commercial tax right on the top wealthy. There's Americans. a real That's concern, what we're I about. think, about accumulation of wealth at the top. It's probably not good for society. I bet we agree on that. It's not. But it's not yes. about income. It's not about your income taxes, it's about capital gains taxes, taxes on investment, on capital that is working. That's how people get rich. Nobody's making a billion dollars from the salary. Are you suggesting raising the capital gains tax rate to 70% too? I am suggesting raising the capital gains tax on the wealthiest 1%. To, I am to suggesting what? raising to the what? income tax. Um, to what? I, you know, economists say somewhere around 50% would be good. Income tax, you can go as high as 83% and it won't suppress wealth. Oh. Pursuit. But why would you want to tax um, also, labor like more to than see, capital? Why are you giving a pass to rich investors? I don't understand. I, Just why are you I taxing tax working people? The, the wealthiest 1%. I would but like to a, tax them at higher salary. rates across the board on okay. their salary, on their investments, and also on what they're passing to the future, future generations. Okay. I want to see the death tax go up. I want to see all of it go up because right now the top 1% do <laughs> right. not pay their fair share. Okay. They we got to go. But, but call me when you start sending all your money to the government and then I'll follow. <laughs> I'll follow suit. It's hilarious. I'll call Thanks. you when I'm on the top 1%. How's that, Tucker? Perfect. We'll have lunch. Thanks, Professor.